Hi everyone. Good morning. Welcome to the Man Cloud Garage. So in this session, I'm going to talk about how to create a virtual protection group VPG that replicates from the production site to Microsoft Azure site. So on our production site, we are using a vSphere platform and Azure site direct Microsoft Azure public cloud only. So let's quickly connect to our lab system. And let me select the full screen. OK, so once we connect to the our lab system, we have that this tab is represented as a when we log into the console, it is showing this site is production site. And when we connect to the another tab, you can see this is a Jetto cloud appliance console and it is showing the site is Azure site 2. OK, so now I am trying to replicate from our production site to Azure site. So in order to create a virtual production group, so left in the left side, you can click on VPG VPG option in the right side. You can see create new VPG. So just click on new VPG tab button. You can see specify a unique name for the VPG and the priority. So VPG types, as we know, we have remote DR and continuous backup option and local continuous backup option and also the data mobility and migration. But when we want to replicate from our production site to Azure site, we have to choose the option remote DR and continuous backup option. And now VPG name, it is mandatory. So VPG name, let's say I'm choosing the VPG name as VPG name. Our Azure site is 02. So I'm just giving a 0 to for our and and priority you can use low medium and high let's say i'm just selecting high priority and now click on next and we have to choose any one vm we plan to replicate it to the azure site suppose i'm just selecting the first vm gnu social and now when i select that vm just move it to the selected vm to the azure site this is the vm i am going to protect now now click on next and the recovery site. So make sure that it is replicating to our recovery site should be Azure site. So when we see the drop down menu, we have local and remote. The remote is Azure site. And the default recovery series, you can use the auto assign option, or even there is no other alternate option. So you can use the default auto assign recovery VRA. And SLA service level agreement or you can use the default general history one day and target RPO alert for five minutes and test reminder is six months. So these options for the time being I'm using the default options. So now click on next and the storage even if you want to modify the storage section we can modify or else just leave it as the default storage section and also the recovery see if you see here default recovery settings are selected and the uh, it, it will be helpful for us for failover and move recovery and failover test so by default it's automatically selected the virtual network subnet and also the network security group is selected and recovery disk type also selected as managed premium SSD and the virtual machine series also selected and the virtual machine size also selected as a standard DS1 version 2 and if you have any pre recovery script and post recovery script we can map it here or else you can just better to leave the default auto discovery options so it's automatically set the default options now click on next and the next option is we need to select the NIC details so NIC details you can if you want to modify, you can just select and edit and modify. Uh, if you are using a Azure site, better to use the default settings. OK, now click on next and you can see our production site VM. A VM is replicating to the Azure site. And then and replication options we have and recovery settings sir, we have and long term retention present not configured. I will show you in the next session how to configure the long term retention using the target repository. OK, so now click on done. When you click on done, it in few minutes, the virtual protection group will be created and this protection group will be like a, a remote. That means from the production group to Azure site. See if you see VPG 02 and it is consist of one virtual machine and VPG type is remote and the peer site is our Azure site 02. OK, currently it initializing syncing is in progress. So once your synchronization is completed, it will change the status to meet SLA. 
See, currently bitmap syncing is in progress. So it may take a while to complete the synchronization. In the meantime, let's select the dashboard and we can see the synchronous. Just now we created the group is VP002. It's the health status is green and the site topology. See if you see here from the production site, one outgoing VP is to Azure site. OK, that is the site topology. OK, so again go back to the VPG tab. And the syncing is in progress. So it may take a while to finish the syncing. So with interest of our time, I will uh, go to the another slide. See the next slide is we again the, we quick recap production site and virtual production group. So in earlier session, I talk about the JetCA installation and I also talk about the how we can deploy the JetCA through Microsoft Azure Marketplace and I shown you the option for how to pair between production site and Azure site and this uh, this session our main concept is we created one virtual production group on one virtual machine and trying to replicate this VM from production site to our Azure site. OK, that replication syncing is in progress in our lab. So 51%. Once the replication is completed, if you want to test the failover also in the below, you can see from the production side, the below tabs are failover. You can do the failover test without interrupting our production VM. And we can also do the failover live option also available. And even if in future, if there is any interruption or any unexpected issues on our VPG production group VM, we can able to do the restoration on file level VM level two options are available. Even entire production group also we can restore. And even if you want to move the production group from one side to another side, that move option also available from the Zeto dashboard. Zeto console, you can just see the these three options: failover, restore, and move. So synchronization is at 66 percent. Okay, now it's going fast. Even if you want to see from the DR site, from the DR site VPG, we, our DR site is Microsoft Azure site. So Azure site two here also showing the initial sync is in progress. So both consoles, the status is same. Almost finishing 89%. Yeah, now the syncing is completed. If you see our VPG-02 production group name running with one VM, it is synchronized to Azure site two and production status is meeting the SLA. And actual RPO is eight seconds. And same information, you can also log into the Azure site JetCA, Jetto Cloud Appliance, and here also select the VPG, you can see the status. So it is in the currently meeting SLA status. Even in the dashboard, you can see here the site topology is reverse from the Azure site to replicate one incoming group from production site. Suppose if I connect to the production site, go to the dashboard and you can see our site is first the primary site is production and one outgoing VPG to Azure site too. OK, so hope you understand this point. OK, so that's it for today. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Nan Cloud Garage. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.